Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I came with the whole intention of doing part 2 on that tutorial we did for last week. But we just discovered something on Twitter that you guys might want to check out. So stick around if you guys want to do that. Follow us, like us. Let me go ahead and get to that really quickly. Because it's brand new. It just came out, literally. It came out about an hour ago. So, so Scratch Team tweeted out this. Right here. They're coming up with new blocks for us to play around with. So they want us to try them out and see if you guys like them. So let me go ahead and look at that article they're pointing to. I read through the article, so it, they're basically introducing two blocks. They're doing this animation block that's gonna allow us to animate text. And they're doing one that uh, follows your face around, which is really cool, pretty amazing. So we'll link this article on the bottom of our video so you guys can check it out. I want to make sure you guys do check that one out. Go ahead and click on the first one. So this is the only way to access them right now because I don't think they're activated on Scratch just yet. But you can go in here and then we're going to go to... Let's go ahead and do the animation for the text blocks and see what's inside of it. And then it says try it out. Just click on that. And your Scratch is going to pop out. It's going to scratch it. A new Scratch is going to pop out here. And it's not logged in because it's not in your actual Scratch. But this is something they're trying out for the Scratch community. To see if you guys like them. So let's see. We have uh, this block which just says, Show text, welcome to project. So let's see. Let's put the flag on there and see what it does. Welcome to my project. That's pretty cool. So it shows text on that screen. And it shows it in a very fancy text style show text. Okay. And then, oh, let's do rainbow. So there's a rainbow, guys. Let's see if I can make, yeah, no, I cannot make it bigger. But this one here, so the, the first one shows you the text on the screen. And I'm doing this all out of fly. I see hasn't, I haven't tested this before. So brand new, just discovered it. So that one shows you rainbow. The other one actually shows you text on the screen. And I don't believe they come up with any of the explanations on what each block does, but we're just trying them out right now to see what they do. Oh, it shows Sprite. Show Sprite. Let's see what that does. Huh. So that shows a Sprite. Okay. So I guess maybe if I do this, and then let's put a weight in there just so that we can give it a little time. And then we do this. See what it does. Oh, okay, so it makes the sprite show. That's interesting. So I'm wondering how is this different? How are we gonna be able to use it differently than the looks where they show shows the sprite show? That would be interesting to find out exactly what else we can do with that. Again, right now it's just kinda showing you guys a quick look on what it is that they put out there for us to play with. Ooh, you can set the font to certain sizes. Ah, let me see that. Let's see, what does that do? Oh, you can change it to uh, different fonts. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. So this is, show text is different than the... Uh, than these guys, because these guys usually have like a care. You have to have a sprite, and it pops out something there to say something, right? Now I'm kind of curious. Is that available on the Dropbox and the stage? That oh, it is available on the stage. So I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I've noticed that some stuff is not available on the stage, and it makes sense because the stage is not a sprite. But this is available for the stage. You'd be able to play around with it on the stage area as well if you wanted to, right? In our famous Hello World. Every programming class starts with Hello World. <laughs> That'd be awesome to show you guys that way. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. So we'll be right on top of the other one. Uh, can we move it? Are we allowed to move it? Oh, we, oh, we could move it. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you can put them on the stage too. So that's pretty awesome that you can put them on stage. 
Let's see what else we have in here. So you can set the font with this guy. And they have two, four, six, seven different fonts. Well, not really. They have two, four, six fonts. And then they have this random one that you can play with. So you just randomly choose one. Okay, what else do they have? Let's see. Uh, we can set the color of it. So let's set the color to... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, and they have this guy. So if you have a favorite color you have already, you can just click on that. And make it look like that. Oh, let me make it blue, dark blue. I like blue, so... I always tend to go with blue stuff. What else do they have? Set width to no angle left. What is that? Let's see. Oh. Oh, I see. So this here is the width between where the first letter starts to the last to here. So this is a 20. And it's aligning it to the left. So you can also align it center. Like that. Ooh. I see. You can totally make videos with this stuff where you do like the credits and all that stuff. That's pretty, pretty awesome. And if you make this smaller, I bet you guys that my letters are gonna go uh, in a little more. See? I'm gonna delete that on the background so we don't get that. That's pretty cool. Okay. So you can set the, uh, the width of it. You can make it bigger, smaller. You can set center, you can set to the right up to you oh, okay all right so i guess in summary this is just a quick one because we really don't have any of the documentation yet but this one here shows our text on the actual screen something that we weren't able to do before it was more of a we had to write it on a on a sprite or write it on the backstage right and now you have the option to actually just make it pop out if you want because the uh, the other one, the looks, the one that says it will make some bubble pop up on your actual sprite and disappear. But this one's different. This one's you actually get to ride. And then this one, this one says like rainbow style. And again, if we were to create a quick variable, which I'm not, because we're <laughs> let's just copy the same thing. But you can create a variable and just match the same thing, right? see you can make that happen so this one creates rainbow or you have zoom do that Ooh. you can also do what's type oh like you're typing it okay pretty cool so we have three options there uh, and then we have the show the sprite the one that shows the sprite then we have the pixel the one that changed uh, Changes the font to whatever you want to change it to. They offer six options right now of text, a font actually. And then the random, maybe you want to randomize between the six. Then you have your color and then you have your uh, width uh, to be able to set the width and alignment of the text. So again, this width is uh, how big do you want this? Imagine there's a fake box there and the width is 100. So it goes 100 this way. And then the alignment is where do you want it? So if you want to center, go center. Doot, doot. There you go, center. All right. So now let's go check out the other one, the face one. We tried that. And then now here's the face one. It's kind of like a face recognition software that they added to these blocks. It's gonna ask you to allow it to detect your face because it's gonna need to be able to see. I mean, detect your camera open your camera because it's going to need your camera to be able to detect your actual physical face. So that should be interesting. Here are what we can use for this uh, face, the new blocks that they have for this face. And um, provide them feedback if you guys have any feedback that you guys want to give them. I'm just trying when face tilts left. Uh, point, uh, make the size of the sprite. Set to size. Oh, okay. So when I tilt left, then make it bigger i guess make it as big as my head face oh. okay now i can't see so let me change that guy back to smaller size if i do this it will change size and if i do right side it should do the same thing 
So enough is you then left or right to tilt your face. Okay. What else do they have? Um the sprite. When this sprite touches a nose. Okay. What can we do with it? Go to nose? No. Go to... Let's make it go to the... Top of the head. Like... Let me touch your... Let me touch your bed with me. <laughs> okay. Now he's past that. Okay. Let's make it smaller. So we can actually see it. Let's go with 75. So if it touches the nose, I'm put it right here. So kind of like if you want to play with your nose. Right. So it feels like it detects that the nose is touching it. It would go to the top of my head. Okay, that's pretty cool. And we're kind of also exploring these other blocks here. And you can move it to whatever, maybe the mouth. We can do the mouth. See if we do mouth. It touches. Okay. All right, that's pretty cool. And we have other options here. We have mouth, left eye, right eye, between eyes, left ear, right ear, and top of the head. Let's see what else they have. When face is when a face is detected, what do we want it to do? Oh, let's see. I'm gonna hide for a little bit. When the face is detected, I wanted to roll the size of my face. Make it small. Behind. And it detects my face. Oh, it's like peekaboo! Just came out. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I'm just using them within themselves, but you can use a lot of different blocks from here. They give you the ability to try them all out with the other stuff. Let's see if we do. Um. Okay, okay. So we're gonna do forever look because those are. Okay, so when the flag is clicked, when the face is detected, no, let's see when the face is detected. Then let's go down here. Uh, let's go to no. Okay, I wanted to follow me. Uh, let's make it follow my. I'm just gonna be able to see my ears. Let's go with the nose. Let's see what it does. As you guys can see, it's kind of falling. I can make it smaller so you guys can see better. Let's see, make it a hundred. Maybe even smaller. So it'll follow you around. So you can kind of make games, pretty cool games. Or kind of like, oh, maybe we could make a. Uh, you know, guys know how in Instagram and all that. Snapchat and stuff, they have those things that go around your head or things that follow you or things like that. Maybe with this new blocks, we'll be able to do some of those cool things. That'll be pretty cool. Okay, I think we went over the nose. So this one basically goes to whatever position you want it to go. Oh, my pirate. Or, um... Okay, that one goes and then this one. Point in direction of face tilt. Okay. Okay, let's try that one. It's going in the direction of his tip. Oh! That's pretty cool. Let me make it a little bigger so you guys can actually see that. That one's a little harder to see. So, it's gonna tilt in the direction of the head is tilt. Wee! Wee! Now we can dance. Do, do, do. <laughs> okay, never mind. And then we have, I know I'm, I'm like all over the place here, but this is the first time I try all this stuff out. And again, go and try them out. They are brand new. They just, they're just trying them out. They're not even on the, your accounts yet. So you want to go and try them out through their, through their, uh, article. it will be the best way to find them. Cause I tried to Google them and it was very really hard. Okay. So this guy is. Basically setting the cat as big as my face. So if I move to my house, it makes it get smaller. So go in and make the cat bigger. Okay, that's pretty cool. 
Alright, so that one face is detected, and then this one's uh, left, to the left or right. Okay, so those are kind of like. Pretty cool. Uh, and this one is kind of the allows you to when this sprite touches when the sprite touches any of your of these parts of the face, it'll do something. We did that one, and then these ones are mostly used. They're gonna be used for something like here where we do checks. Be interested in figure out how to use those. And these are just variables here. Ooh, then you can change the size of the variable. Okay. Oh. Okay, so these are kind of like variables that we can also use to check things here. Use them with this stuff. I'll be interested to figure out how to use those eventually. I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, kind of uh, intro to this so you guys can go check it out. Again, like I said, it's brand new. They just tweeted it out two hours ago. Uh, and then you click on this link here. I'll share the link to the to the actual article so you guys can go ahead and access those uh, specific new tools that they're going they're trying out for you guys. And leave them comments if you guys have comments. It'll be pretty cool to just let them know whether you like them or you guys want something else. To try out. All right, let me see. I have to go back here to my So thank you guys for joining us. Uh, just wanted to show you guys this. I'll have to postpone the tutorial I had for today for the next one. We'll turn. We'll show it to you guys on Friday. I have it ready for you guys. I just wanted to show you guys this so you guys can go play around with this. Uh, with these new blocks that they're planning to bring out so you guys can get ahead of the game and start figuring out what kind of games you want to do what kind of projects you want to do with it so thank you so guys so much guys for joining us and don't forget to subscribe like us and leave your comments below see you guys